Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. And we are back with our 3ds Max script series and this is week 4 and probably the last week. So today in this uh, week we're going to take a look at a really cool script called PolyFX. Okay? Uh, this is just a symbol render I did. And here is a 3ds Max scene file. Let me just play out the animation. Okay, now you can see that few polygons are coming and forming. Let's say this part here is the floor, and from this point here, here a teapot is forming. So basically, uh, the script PolyFX is a script to form or deform objects as based on their polygons. Okay, so you will understand it later on, a little more detailedly. Okay, so we'll start up by resetting our scene and before getting into the tutorial the first thing I want to um, talk about is I got lots of complaint that the links to the uh, script download links does not work so um, here's my YouTube uh, video so down in the description I do have these links so just uh, click that link a new window will pop out and they will come an advertisement because I used Ad fly as a URL, URL shrinker so you'll get an ad so you have to wait for something like five seconds and let's wait for a while and after five seconds uh, you'll get a skip ad icon right here or let's say the button you can just click that and then you'll be directed to the script download link okay you can just uh, say nope it doesn't matter okay once you skip that ad then you'll be redirected to the script download link so if this does not work then just try going to Google and searching for the script name. You can just type the name of the script and you'll surely get some links to download that. Okay, that's it. And also another company I'm getting that is for my fighter plane modeling series, the blueprint is low quality. So I'm uh, doing some research for that. I don't have a blueprint right now, but I'll try to find it and post it. Uh, I'll change the link for that so be sure to check back again okay so let's get back to our poly effects so first of all let me create a plane okay just a simple plane and the size of a grid line we don't need the bigger one and the next one I'm gonna create a teapot you can create any of the object that's on your own okay once that is done, let me go to Max Script and oops, sorry, Max Script and Run Script and Fully Effects. Okay, you can get both the light version as well as the full version. Uh, the link will again be provided in the description below, so you can easily go. Or if the link does not work, you can just do a quick Google search and you'll get that. Okay, so looks a little complicated, but there's nothing much really. So the first thing um, I cannot create both the object at once so I need to do it individually so first of all let me play on with the teapot okay let me pick the object pick object and click the teapot and you can see that my object is now added to my polyfx uh, object okay and then I can just simply hit create animation and then you'll see the teapot is does vanish and then as I move my time slider on, the animation is on. Okay, but I don't. I just have 100 frames, so the animation is not complete. So I'm just gonna increase my timeline to something like 800. Okay, and then I can see the polygons are forming my teapot. Okay, that's simply cool. Okay, and now you can all adjust all these options in real time. Once you hit the animations, you can let's say change the rotation of your polygons okay rotation y j and they just update in the viewport in real time but there are few options which do not update for that uh, options like this type and uh, pick point direct from helper they need to be re-animated so except these options works pretty fine okay now once that is done and let me go ahead and see some different options right here the first one I can use either the polygons or elements 
a complete element let me create animation once again and okay now directly our polygon is cre uh, sorry our element is created directly okay we have few different elements for our teapot this handle this um, I don't know what is this and this one and the main body and the lid okay so it forms in that way if we hit elements or if we go to polygons then it will form on the basis of the polygons okay now the polygons are coming right from the origin so I want it to come out from somewhere else so I can use a helper in such cases so let me go to helper and create a point okay let me create one point right here and let's say I want it from somewhere top around here okay now I can just pick my point pick it and direct from helper now if I just create animation let's see now you can see that the polygons are coming out of that point and forming our objects okay that's good okay now we do have another setup center by object or center by poly element let's see the difference center by poly elements now you can see that the objects are again forming at their position and they are getting bigger from the center of that polygon but not of these objects okay, you can see that okay. okay so just center by object or helper that's good for us and let me create animation again okay now it's again done now the another uh, really cool one uh, our options is to reverse it okay now that you can see that first the lead is formed then this uh, I don't know what is this again <laughs> sorry and this handle and the body is formed that's just opposite or I can just invert it so that I have a single teapot at the beginning and then starts to deform okay those are the few options and you can reverse and invert at the same time so that the lead will deform first and the handle and then only the body okay, okay. I don't want both of them so this is good for me now we do have a shell options right here so that we can make our polygons a little thicker so let me hit this mode shell button and you can see now they are thick now I can change the inner amount let's say I don't like one so let me go to 0 0.5 so they are a little thinner okay that's good you can also set the outer amount or inner amount whatever you like or if you don't like this um, shell then you can just delete it or again hit mode shell to get that on okay you have some random rotations as well for some variations but that's not I usually don't like that it gives some really chaotic feel to this uh, forming so I hate that and another cool thing interesting thing is the fall off so that um, there will be lots of particles flying around before forming that objects so let me set it to something like 500 to show what you what I mean okay now you can see that all the uh, polygons are coming at once and forming the object you can see that or if I set it back to let's say 10 or let's say to 50 then now you'll see only few polygons are coming at first to form that object I can set that to 500 if I want all the polygons to come at once and form our object that looks really interesting as well maybe really good for motion graphics or if, even for visual effects as well right yeah you do have that fall off curve as well you can edit that uh, to change um, the position or the formation of this object but that's not so important that's alright so you can also set the color for these objects okay let's say something like red okay or you can also add in a material or let's say if you have all these polygons and you want to select them then you can just hit this button right there and you'll get everything selected and you can move it anywhere okay so you do have the rotation options or if you don't like the formations you can just change the seed amount to your see a little bit of variations over there and that's it okay you can also change the speed and that's it with this stuff so let us um, 
we already did the teapot so let us go ahead with this floor and this time I'm gonna again click this and select my floor and first of all I'm gonna turn on shell sorry oh sorry I need to create animation first okay now you can see that the objects are forming and the problem here is the polygons are really bigger because we had really few segments out there so what I need to do is press this unhide original object okay and I'm just gonna clear my animations and again select my object and go to modify tab and choose my lens segments to something like 20 by 20 and let me see if that's okay by pressing that 4 key okay that's good if you want bigger it's uh, alright I can let me set it to 15 by 15 okay that's good now again I'm gonna add this to my object helper or list and then create animation okay okay so it is directing from this point helper so I'm just gonna untick this and center by polygon element and create my animation now you can see they are forming right at the floor okay now the fall off is too much for this one so I'm just gonna set my fall off to something like 50 okay that's good and a few more things uh, let me change the random position a little bit okay and hit the mode shell on but this time I'm not gonna set the inner amount but the outer amount okay inner amount to zero okay, so that our objects are above the grid line or maybe let me set it to one okay that looks really good for me okay we get the floor first and then we'll get our teapot formed on that floor that's really cool now the, the old teapot was on hide let me again hide that let's say you always have the original object hidden so you can show them by clicking this button and you'll get your original object so that no data are lost or you can again clear to clear your animation okay and let me go at the front and I can just hide them again just hide selection okay that's it that wraps up the tutorial hope you guys like it and don't forget to subscribe and hit like and be sure to check this plugin and if you really do like the light version don't forget to buy that mm, the developers got a lot of stuff to create this and I'm using the 2.6 version uh, 3.0 is available right now the newer version so you can just try that one out it has got a uh, little more possibilities than what we have right now so thank you guys for watching have a good day see you then